So, I just got home from a Slayer show that I attended last minute today on May the 7th of 2019. Slayer, the Bird Dog in Arena, Harlingen, Texas, Cannibal Corpse, Amon Amarth, Lamb of God, and Slayer. And I'm going to crack open this beer. Because I'm sore like a motherfucker. And I just fucking need a beer. Because the beers are at the venue were like nine bucks. And I'm like, eh, fuck that shit. I don't want to watch the show. I don't want to be all dehydrated and go back and try to buy another beer. Anyway. So it was like 1.30. The show started at 5.30. Kind of an early, an early showing. Uh, Cannibal Corpse went on at 5.35, 5.30. So the show started at 5.30 today. And I hadn't had my ticket. And... I was debating in my head whether I should go or not, whether I should go or not, whether I should go or not. And it was like 1.30, and I was just like, you know what? Fuck it. Fuck it. I'm never going to see Slayer again. So, like, I have to fucking go. And I wanted to be like that punk rock motherfucker who's like, well, since Hanneman passed away, I don't really listen to the new Slayer. I only listen to Show No Mercy and Hell Awaits and Rain and Blood. And when I'm feeling lenient, I'll put on South of Heaven, bro. Even though I think Seasons in the Abyss is the most fun Slayer album on their entire discography. What I mean by fun, that can I could go off in a 30-minute tangent. But I, I'm not saying it's the best or my favorite, but Seasons in the Abyss. Throw that shit on start to finish, and it's the most fun Slayer album. It is. So yeah, it's like 1.30, it's going to be 2, and I'm like, you know what, fuck it, I'm just going to I'm just gonna go. I'm gonna, I messaged a friend on, uh, <clears throat> a few friends on Facebook, and I was like, hey, do you know if the general admission is sold out? Because they have general admission and they have reserved seating. Um, reserved, sitting, re reserved seating for a metal show, but I always thought it's kind of cute and weird. But hey, to each their own. I'm not trying to say that, you know, oh, more metal, bro, or you have to enjoy a show how I enjoy a show, bro. And, uh, but anyway, I was like, do you know if there's any general admission left? If they do, fuck it, I'll just buy the ticket. Online, they, they came out to like 110 bucks with tax. And in person, luckily they still had general admission, and it was 75 bucks. So I saved close to about $30. If I would have bought it online, it would have been like 110 or whatever the fuck. And I was prepared to show up there, because I, 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 I paid in cash, and I was like, if I don't have... If I can't pay for a ticket in cash, then fuck it. Then it wasn't meant to be. I'll just drive back home and be like, meh. It wasn't in, it wasn't in the books. It wasn't in the cosmos. It wasn't in the universe. It wasn't in the fucking... It wasn't the metal gods. And I'm just going to never see Slayer. Luckily, I showed up about two hours before the show. And I was like, do I have any general admission tickets left? And they're like, yeah, we have a few. And I was like, cool, let me have one. She was like, 75 bucks. And I was like, mm, cool. And I got my ticket and... Went to my car. Um, put on another show. Well, yeah, I didn't. I didn't attend the Slayer sh the Slayer show in in this beautiful picture store shirt. I went in my down, which is like sweaty. It smells like fucking ass right now. But yeah, I took I took my down shirt. Because, you know, I wanted to, like, show everyone that I'm, like, so diverse and I don't just go to Slayer shows and Cannibal Corp shows. But wearing a Slayer shirt or a Cannibal shirt or a Lamb of God shirt. Lamb of God was fucking amazing as well. So I went in my down shirt. But anyway, um, the show was badass. Cannibal Corp was the opener. I had, like, a 30-minute set, which was kind of which kind of sucked. I was like, for me, I was like, how the fuck is Amon Amarth after Cannibal Corpse. Like, why isn't Amon Amarth the opener? Like, I don't know. I, that didn't make any sense to me, but whatever. I was like, I, I, I'm, I'll go. Like, I paid to see Corpse. Like, I paid to see Corpse. And Slayer, of course, because I've never seen Slayer. I've seen Corpse a handful of times. Um, I was semi-bummed with the Cannibal Corpse set. 
not, not bummed. I mean, I was just glad to see those motherfuckers on stage, and they're all like <laughs> fucking older than my dad and shit on stage. And Corpse Grinder was like, I want to fucking rip your dick off and fuck your girlfriend with it. You know, I just being Corpse Grinder. And um, just seeing them, like, show's opening 5.30 real early. I was like, this is, this is already worth it. Like, just seeing these motherfuckers. Rob Barrett, I just, like, just throwing the horns at Barrett. He looks at me and he gives me the... He gives me the look, the... You know that meme of that, like, black dude from Africa or something? And he's like, you belong to me or whatever the hell. So, so Barrett gave me the... You belong to me stare. And I was like, cool, badass. Um... Cannibal Corpse or opened with um, the Evisceration Plague, then Scourge of Iron, and I think it was I think it was Icon Blood, and they closed with uh, Hammer Smash Face, of course. Um, but their, their set was like twenty five minutes, of course. I mean, I knew that going in. I think it was a huge surprise. They already had the. The sets and the times and on you know on the internet and all that. So it was badass seeing them. It was cool seeing Eric Rutten on stage. I was screaming Pat like the whole time like a fucking loser. Um, and Webster, I was screaming Webster and Pat like a loser all the time. Uh, Paul Mazurkowitz looked adorable because he he had like really short. He didn't like cut all of his hair, but he had like really short hair, like real trimmed, like real short. In my in my head, I was like. Fucking Paul's just like, well, I'm going to Texas? Fuck this shit. Fucking shave all this shit off. Fuck Texas. Fuck the heat. And uh, so Corpse knocked it out of the park. It was badass. For a month of Marth, I was kind of like, eesh. not really a huge. Like in high school, or, or like once I graduated high school, I remember I had like two or three of their first albums. And, and I, I really like was into them. And then... Somewhere along the line, I just kind of, they didn't do it for me anymore. They're a good band, you know, some of the, 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 the songs were killer, but they weren't just being like, you know, being lazy and like unenthusiastic. I mean, they put on a killer show. They had this big ass fucking boat and whatever and reminded me of like Game of Thrones and fucking like sailing across the narrow sea. But anyway, so yeah, from Mother Marth, I was kind of like, cool, cool, whatever. Hurry up, I'm waiting for Lama God and Slayer. Hurry up. Hurry. Time's ticking, hurry. And I was like, I was in general admission. And I was like, see, so like, there's the first row of, you know, just Homo sapiens standing there by the, by, the, by the barrier. I was like, in the second row of just people. And I was like, as soon as I get my chance, if someone leaves or someone's like, oh my god, stop pushing me, like, I'm gonna fucking just take take front row, they're on the fucking barricade, and you're not gonna move me. Once I fucking make it to the front row, holding onto the barricade, and planting my fucking knees into the fucking steel, putting some of my weight forward, you're not gonna move me. And... So after I'm on a Marth, I, I got to be front row and I was like, fuck it, now, now this show's even like, it's better for me, like, it, it was worth it, worth every penny, I came last minute, and I'm gonna see Lama God and fucking Slayer. I've seen Lama God twice, um, but being like front front row and just seeing like three-piece Willie and, and Randy and Morton, um, it was like, it, it was it was amazing, they put on a fucking killer set. Um, so that was badass. I got to see that entire set, Lama God, front row. Um, and it came to Slayer. And before I get to the Slayer, two funny things happened at the beginning and towards the end of Slayer. The beginning, during once I'm on a Martha's kind of wrapping it up, I'm already there, like close to the front row and this girl's like it's getting semi-packed at this point it's not like sardine like holy shit i should have done some push-ups prior to this um so it's just girl was like putting her hands like between 
me right here and some other dude like trying to get front row and I don't really know it's a girl at first but once I feel like hands trying to move me I'm just gonna turn into a brick wall and you're not gonna move me cuz I, I got here first it's general fucking admission and I'm not just gonna be like sure go ahead go in the front so you can be with your fucking phone right in my fucking face the entire time fuck that shit fucking fags um, for real, I, uh, the, the whole phone thing. I'm glad that I was front row. That's another reason I'm glad I was front row. People with their fucking phones, man. It's just, but anyway. And then she starts like that after a month more. She's like, my God, look at you. You're, I mean, most Hispanics are like four feet eleven, and I'm like six feet, so I'm not really that tall. But around a bunch of Hispanics drinking beer and smoking weed, she's like, oh my God. Why, you're fucking pushing me? Like, yeah, how fucking tall you are? And you're fucking pushing me? Why are you such a jerk? And I, in my head, I'm like, I pushed you? Like, what? And, and I was just like, I kind of just ignored it. I didn't really, I was like, I was like, well, it's general admission. Like, I, was, I mean, I, I've been here. It's the beginning of the show. And she kind of like walks around me and she's just like, I guess it's for her fucking dad or her fucking uncle or her pimp or whatever the fuck that like I don't know fucks her on Sundays when she's like I don't know whatever the fuck and he just looks at me like you don't, you don't have to be a jerk about it and I'm like I'm like she's saying that I, in my head I'm like she's saying that I pushed her and I didn't I didn't like push her and be like Ur. she's here with her little hands like trying to like move for me oh my god it's me can you move for me and I and she's like I was like, what, man? It's general admission. Like, I've, I've been here. Like, I got here first. I told, like, her fucking uncle or whoever the fuck it was. He just looks at me like, yeah, bro, you don't have to, like, blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, no, well, that's why there's reserved seating. Um, and when I told him that, he, like, looks at the floor and just, like, smiles. And he's like, <sighs> like, he gave me, like, that, don't make me do this, son, kind of look. And I'm like, no, for real. That's why there's reserved seating. This is general admission. I've been here. I don't, I don't, I don't have to have to move for anybody and he kind of just like all right all right so he gave he gave that chick like his spot and he was behind me and then eventually he disappeared because he's a fucking pussy um so that was funny i got accused of pushing somebody and then her her fucking uncle or her fucking pimp or whatever the fuck's like uh, uh, uh. and i mean i just told him straight up i was like I looked him in his eyes and i was like that's why there's reserved seating you know that right he's like <laughs> I was like, no, for real. That's why there's reserved seating. This is general admission. This is a, this is a, in my head, I'm like, this is a fucking metal gig. Like, this is Slayer, Corpse, a Marth, Lamb of God. Like, you, you, you gotta know what the fuck you're signing up for, right? Was that a dick? Was, that, was it a dick move on my part way? I don't fucking know. But I know at the core that I didn't do anything wrong. But anyway, back to the Slayer. Slayer was fucking amazing. They're, when they came out, they started playing their first song, which was uh, "Repentless." I think. Like I started, I, don't, I got, I started getting choked up, and like I, I wanted to, I wanted like to shed a tear just because I was like, because I was like Hanneman, and I was like, this shows for me. It's like the shows for Hanneman in, in my brain. Right before I'm about to tear up, it's just like I was just like, dude, just stop, like don't. And a lot of people are like, get over it, bro. Terry Holt, bro. Gary Holt, get over it, bro. Hanneman's been dead for. Four, five, six years already. Get over it, bro. But I got kind of choked up, like just realizing that it was happening. It was front row, seeing Tom fucking Araya, like I'm pretty much like center stage, center, like the center of the rail, and Tom Araya is just like right there. And like I said, after I'm on the Marth, I mean I'm already front row. I saw that I'm a god front row. I saw Slayer front row. I said, just not gonna move me. Um, I mean Slayer just Slayer. I honestly, I'm I'm in the I'm in the wrong. I thought that it was just like a like I was in the wrong. I was like, eh, it's probably just a cash grab. Why go? They probably aren't all that great live. Like, I was like, eh, I don't know. Da, 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 da. I know I'm probably sounding like the most like unmetal nerd, but. I just felt, you know, it was going to be a subpar, all right. But nah, man. Slayer fucking killed it. 
Their fucking set was amazing. Lights. They had fucking flames shooting from both sides of the fucking drum set. Every time those flames shot, me, me being front row, everyone front row, you can feel that fucking heat. I don't know how the fuck that drummer got through that set with those fucking, the size of those flames. Um, and then they played, once um, God Hates Us All came on, uh, they had like flames shooting like as an inverted cross. And I was like, dude, that's just so fucking wicked. Like, that's the coolest fucking thing ever. Um, Slayer, I mean, they had a long set. They played, I mean, they played the classics, of course. They played Raining Blood, South of Heaven. Um, Seasons in the Abyss. Um, songs that I really like. I was just like, it's like, <clears throat> just head banging and just fucking throwing the horns the entire time. Or like, when, like, uh, Hell Awaits. They played fucking Chemical Fucking Warfare. That was fucking amazing. Um, a song that I didn't think would be on a, on their set was, um, Payback, and not a huge fan or whatever, or I mean, it's been a while since I've heard uh, God Hate the Song, which I believe Payback's off God Hate the Song, but uh, when they played Payback, just hearing that live was just so fucking beautiful, like, just hearing her eye, like, I'm gonna tear your fucking eyes out, rip your fucking flesh out, beat it to your fucking life, last car, kiss, fuck you in your progress, but you fucking play right, 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 right. Payback's a bitch, motherfucker. It was like, so, people were just going nuts the entire time, man. People just flying over you. Fucking bunch of motherfuckers just crowd surfing. People getting kicked in the fucking face. Um, it was a fucking amazing show, and I'm glad that I went and checked it out that last minute. Um, it's, it's Slayer Lamb God Corpse. Here close by, I mean, it was not even... It was, fucking 10 15 minute drive so i was like i can't miss this shit like, i'm always bitching that there, need, there needs to be more metal shows in the valley like when it kind of peaked here in the south like maybe around i don't know maybe around like 2011 2012 and then bands kind of just stopped coming here um every now and then i mean voivod came down here maybe like three four years ago that was insane they played at a small ass venue and I, the whole time i felt like it was a dream i was like fucking Voivod is playing, like, and it wasn't even, like, a pricey ticket or nothing, that, that, that show was badass, too, um, but, yeah, I'll just end it with this, I mean, it was a badass show, and another thing that was, I, I, I got accused not by one, but by two, um, females, that apparently I was being a dick, or I was being an asshole, well, the first one said I pushed her, which I didn't, um, she was like trying to scream away with her little itty bitty hands and, and I just turned into a stone. I was like, it's not going to move. Like, fuck you. I was here for it. I'm not going to move for anybody. I don't give a fuck if it doesn't matter. I'm not going to move for anybody. I was here first. It's general, general admission. First come, first served. Um, towards like the last two Slayer songs, I feel someone, I'm in the front rail. I'm on the guardrail, and on my right side, I feel someone constantly trying to squirm their way in, and I'm not looking back, I'm like, I don't give a fuck, like, you're not, I don't give a shit who, what the fuck you are, I don't give a fuck, like, I don't even look back and be like, stop it, bro, I'm just like, you're not gonna move me, and after a while, I hear, I hear like, a chick screaming in my ear, not, well, not scream, I can't really hear her screaming, because the set's going on, like, Slayer is fucking playing, and I just hear, like, and I give a small glance, and it's some girl, different girl. There's like 30 minutes left for the show at this point. He's like, "Oh my god, let them chicks be in the front. You're such a fucking, you're such a fucking, you're such a fucking dick. You're such a fucking asshole. Why didn't like, why didn't let a, a, a chick be in the front? You're such a fucking asshole." And this whole time, I'm just like, I'm not even like responding to it. I'm like, Slayer's playing live. Everyone's like fucking, it's packed. Like I couldn't, my shorts were falling down. Cause I forgot my belt cause I'm a fucking retard. And even just to reach down, my hands are on the rail. Even just to reach down and pull up my shorts was like the most impossible thing. Cause it's so fucking packed. 
crazy fucking pit going on. People are crowd surfing into the fucking front of the house or whatever, front of the stage. And I was just like, ch- chuckling at that. Like, I'm a dick now? I'm an asshole? Because I won't move? So you can be front row? And now I'm behind you? And all you're going to be fucking doing the entire time is be with your fucking phone and be like, Oh my god! I can't stay alive! Oh my god, look at me! I just can't stay alive! I love Slayer! God, I love Slayer so much! I just, like, I can't even buy beer yet, and, like, I bought my first pack of smokes last week, and, like, but, oh my god, I fucking love Slayer, and I'm gonna be on Facebook Live telling everybody how much I love Slayer! Oh my god, I love Slayer! I love Slayer! It's like, fuck that! Fuck that shit! Fuck that! Fucking cell phones, man! It's just, like... So now, even when I went to that show, like, even halfway through the show, it's like, man... Now, with, like, any gig, like, I'm going to have to get there early and be inclined to be front row because if not, there's just going to be tons and tons of motherfuckers with their phones out ruining the fucking experience for me. I want to do with this. I've gone kind of long. The show is amazing. I'm glad I made it out. There was a kid, no more than 21 years old. He has a little battle vest on and his Iron Maiden patches and his Slayer patches and his fucking Pantera patches. Cute little kid. And I, I saw a bit of myself in that, in that little kid. And probably 19, 20 years old. And in between bands, he'd be like, you good, man? Have a good time? And be like, yeah, bro, yeah, good. And he, he knew, he understood the unwritten rule of, okay, you want to take a photo? Cool. You want to take a two, one, 30 second, one minute video? Cool. You record a little video for 30 seconds, or you take a couple of pictures. Once the band comes on, by the time their second song comes on, you put away your fucking phone, and you just wait for the next band. Or you wait till the band's finished, and when they're throwing pics into the crowd or whatever, take out your phone and take more pictures. That little kid understood. I mean, like a little kid, but I mean, like 19, 20. That young buck understood the unwritten rule of having some fucking courtesy at a fucking metal gig because there's people behind you that want to see the fucking show and just for all these fucking teeny boppers that are just like oh my god i look slay i'm on facebook live yay i got like fucking 500 likes on my instagram because i'm like I'm, 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 i fucking love slayer it's just like fucking annoying fucking annoying and that young buck and he was there the whole time. He didn't leave. He duked it out. He was there from the start. I eventually made my way to the front. After I'm on Amarth, there was only four bands. Corpse, Amarth, I'm a God, and Slayer. And once I'm on Amarth came, like, some, like, little couple left the front row. And I was like, Burp. sayonara. You left. My throne now. It's my spot. Try to move me, I dare you. I dare you. Now I don't talk. I don't. I don't start throwing elbows. I don't, I don't do that shit. Been doing enough metal gigs to just. I don't do mosh pits anymore. I'm fucking. I'll be hitting my mid thirties by the time I fucking know it. I've been in the pits. I've done my time in those fucking mosh pits. Twenty one, twenty. 20 year old me, 19 year old me, mid 20s, itty bitty chemo in the pit. It's not that I can't, but I'd rather just be front row and just watching the fucking band and just having like out of body experience while the music's playing. And it was a fun show. There was a moment that I had, I think it was Dead Skin Mask or I forgot what song it was. I think it was a uh... but anyway it was like a lyric and I'm like miming to the song headbanging and I'm like singing it just screaming at a riot and I'm like uh, I forgot what lyric it was now I'm like overthinking it and I'm gonna take like 10 minutes to remember but
It had to have been um, <laughs> I just think wrong with that. Anyway, just don't like misquote the lyric, but I'm pretty much miming like 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 tear your fucking eyes out, rip your fucking flesh out, beat it till you're just a fucking lifeless carcass. Fuck you on your progress. Watch it fucking regress. And it was for like a good six, seven seconds where I was miming with Tamaraya and he was looking me in the eyes and he was like singing the lyrics and miming as well. Like like just doing it and I was sick. That that made my night. Like that made my night. I'm, I'm overthinking it and I can't remember the song. Cause that's all such a, like an out of body expression. Man. The first time seeing Slayer, their last tour, and uh, just like miming and like doing the poor fucking eyes out, beat it to you, just a fucking live black carcass. And and Tamari is looking me in the eyes and he's and he's singing the words with me. And he's like, I was like, thank you, thank you, thank you. And once the show ended, Tamariya was just looking out into the crowd. Everyone took off pretty quick. Holt, Kerry King, you know, drummer and all that. They're just like, I'm out of here. And Tamariya was just walking back and forth on stage, just soaking it in. And just staring to the crowd like a bunch of crazy motherfuckers. Just like a bunch of crazy motherfuckers. And he gets close to the mic, center stage. And he's just like, thank you all for coming out. I'm going to miss you guys. And he almost cracked. He almost shed a tear. I saw it in his eyes. And I was just like, I was like, Tom, stop you. I was like, dude, you're going to make me cry. Like, just thank you for everything. You're a fucking metal god. You're a fucking legend. And I got my money's worth 10 times over. When I almost saw Tamariah, the voice of hell, cry on stage and shed a tear. That was an amazing night.